this is part two of my video. And it, but anyway, as I was saying, um, basically, if you have a line going to the right of the line, you have uh, dealing with the red line going to the right of the zero degrees Celsius line, which is right right along here. You're going to have your temperatures above freezing. So, and thus, we're going to, you're going to have a more difficult time getting temperatures to stick. And you can see right here, you know, this temperature, this red line stops just barely to the right of the zero degrees Celsius line. So, right around 32, 33 degrees. So, closer to the freezing and more favorable. And this is happening, let's see. And let's go to this. And this is happening as we're dealing with some moderate snow. So, it could... So we could be dealing with a period of moderate snow as we're heading into the evening hours, um, especially maybe as the coastal low develops. So something to keep an eye on. So, but again, you know, the now you pretty much just seen it. You know, temperatures above freezing that will be hampering the toll. So, um, what we need to rely on is steady, moderate precipitation because that will be enough for it to overcome the um, ground temperatures. The, um, the surface temperatures um, allow for some accumulation, some accumulation. So keep that in mind. Um, but probably not on the roads. I rather I don't think we'll see anything on the roads. Um, so, so maybe, so maybe an inch or less for maybe Richmond, maybe a couple inches over to the west. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, so. So yeah, basically, you know, service temperatures be hampering it. Um, but as that happens, though, since also we'll see, you know, those upper level temps temperatures though, pretty cold. So if we could get the heavier precip to fall, that could drag some of that colder air aloft down to the surface. So, um, and so we'll see what happens. We'll definitely have to see what happens. Well, folks, and um, so no big deal. Looks like we're going to see a starting time Richmond across the Richmond metro area around um, around the late morning, early afternoon, and places maybe further west, probably around daybreak, maybe towards Charlottesville, Harrisonburg, Blacksburg, probably around day, the daybreak hour, maybe d around DC, um, 8 a.m. So as a deal with that, um, so all right, folks. Well, and um, in. Well, the folks, this is our last winter weather event of the season, very likely, because what I'm seeing, it, all the indications I'm seeing is the pattern beginning, the pattern of um, the trough over the east, bringing that constant rush of cold air down, um, will begin to break up, and thus we'll see um, that southeast ridge begin to build in, and you, thus we'll begin to see that southeast ridge begin to build in, you can see um, you can see that high pressure forming out offshore now. You can see now those warm temperatures streaming north, and we're going to see that cold air begin to get locked up, um, limited to now the um, upper mid uh, upper New England and maybe the upper Midwest. So that's um, so. I think it's safe to say that winter, the long winter of. Um, 2013 through 2014 that just would seemingly never end will likely come to a close as we had on in likely come to a close as we have um wrapped it up it's been a fun winter guys so um thank you once again for tuning in through all my weather updates however i will continue to post videos um should a severe weather threat um should a severe weather threat be effective for our area maybe um maybe you got some rain coming or anything like that um i'll i'll keep you posted on that so um be happy to and um i'll be more than happy to continue serving as your source for weather so thank you very much for tuning in and i hope you will continue to tune in throughout the spring and um summer months so just because um winter is over doesn't mean the excitement ends well, folks, enjoy the rest of your evening, and um, enjoy the last um, bits of um, snow that Old Man Winter has to offer. Good night, guys.